Welcome back to Free Media. I'm Amber Duke. And I'm Robbie Suave. Now, after spending years in prison, Julian Assange is a free man at last. The WikiLeaks founder accepted a plea deal, will be sentenced to time served, and is expected to soon return to his native Australia. The U.S. government pursued charges against Assange for publishing classified documents he obtained from Chelsea Manning. Supporters of civil liberties and freedom of the press have long argued that Assange was engaged in acts of journalism and that his prosecution was unjust. Now, over on Fox News, several commentators wondered about the timing of this deal and whether President Biden was going after the libertarian or the progressive vote. Let's watch this. Now, this deal still has to be approved by a judge, a federal judge, but it would appear tonight that Julian Assange may be on his way home. Kaylee. Interestingly, coming after just a few weeks ago, President Trump said he would consider pardoning Assange. And then we get I this. I said the exact same thing. Yeah. They're getting this done this week. I think they've been working on it, but this is a, a bit of uh, taking a little steam out of the, pres the former president's sales, perhaps, by yes. the Biden administration. But by any measure, it's a very big day for Juli uh, Julian Assange. So what is the motivation here? Why would Joe Biden give him this cushy deal? Well, there's a lot of young people that are on the side of Julian Assange, especially the, the civil libertarians. Uh, and so I think this is a olive branch to them to say, hey, I'm still that progressive. Uh, let's let it all be forgiven. Well, let's see what that judge does, because if they go, you know, you did a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think time served is, is enough. Yep. But apparently they got the deal. It's, and it's on paper. Mm -hmm. Hunter had the deal, too, until he didn't, so we'll see. Well, he wanted more. <laughs> yeah. So I'm very uh, happy about this news. Um, uh, I, I think the prosecution of Julian Assange was fundamentally um, wrong. He has been in prison for years. Again, his alleged crime was just publishing the information that he got from a third party, which uh, information that he thought was in the public interest that cast a negative light on the U.S. government's um, conduct in the war on terror and the Iraq war. I think that is information the people ought to have. This is no unusual behavior. Journalistic organizations like the New York Times and the Washington Post will publish classified material if they, that they obtained if they think it's in the public interest. So nothing abnormal happened here except the government went after him vigorously, um, forced him to live under um, uh, in, a, in hideout in an embassy in Britain, and then he was eventually captured and in prison. Um, libertarians, uh, even uh, progressives, and many, frankly, on the right. Uh, Tucker Carlson was a big champion of uh, freeing Julian Assange, um, and so have other people on Fox have been um, asking for this outcome and had put pressure on Trump to do so when he was in office, but uh, it's finally happened under Biden. Yeah, I, I, I do think one of the claims was that he was basically egging Chelsea Manning on to hack into government computers to take the information, but it's obviously still not a justifiable reason for them to go after him the way that they did. And it's clear that the reason that they decided to try to prosecute him was because he basically did not have the cover or the support of a mainstream corporate media outlet. He yes. did not have the institutional backing that so many of these journalists do. And I think it's an important reminder that citizen, re citizen journalism and independent journalism in the United States in many ways does not receive the same protections under the First Amendment the way that it's supposed to. Right, that it's it supposed doesn't. to, right, but it doesn't. Right, exactly. In practice, it doesn't um, because you don't have the high profile lawyers or the millions of dollars to fight lawsuits or to defend yourself in court against these allegations um, that if you worked at the New York Times, your institution or the guild, the union that you're a part of would support you. Um, and we've seen this repeatedly over time where something as benign as a journalist getting kicked out of a White House press briefing or getting kicked out of, a, of an event at the Rose Garden is a major cause for crisis and you have the White House Correspondents Association coming out to defend them and there's all of these people going on CNN and Fox and MSNBC to defend each other and talk about how unjust it was but then somehow on Julian Assange there were a bunch of journalists who were silent about his plight. Yeah it really did get uh, forgotten for for several years, and there were not a, enough people talking about it. And then um, again, it's but it's progressives, people on the left, I including members of Congress, and then you know Rand Paul type 
people on the Republican side um, and, and Tucker and others who've kept that alive. We've obviously written a lot about it at Reason Magazine, closely followed um, his case. Uh, the timing is interesting right. because Donald Trump was asked about this while speaking at the Libertarian National Convention a few weeks ago. And I, I think he said he would look into it. Mm -hmm. And he had he had promised to look into uh, Ross Ulbricht, who is another uh, who is a is a libertarian affiliated uh, sort of lightly affiliated person who was uh, imprisoned for creating Silk Road, which is this online marketplace where some illicit substances could be sold. And uh, and many libertarians feel that the way that was handled, we've reported on it. Reason was very very wrong that he has life in prison and he should be freed. And so Donald Trump talked about maybe doing something positive uh, there. Now, of course, he could have, while president, pardoned Ross Ulrich and ended the prosecution of Julian Assange. Right. He did not. Uh, it, Tucker really lobbied him to on the Assange uh, part, and he didn't. Um, now, Biden has uh, has done this, and I, I think it is, I, a part of me does wonder if he, if he saw that or something, you know, not him personally, but someone in his team was like, you know, you really could take the wind out of the sails of the, the if there's some slight libertarian or enthusiasm for Trump based on that promise by just doing it now. I'm really curious about the timing as well because you had the Obama DOJ, the Trump DOJ, and then for the past four years, the Biden DOJ, all actively pursuing Julian Assange and then a deal just a few months out from the election. I, I think it is kind of suspect. Yeah. And I, I also don't think we can forget the fact that WikiLeaks, of course, published all of those DNC-related documents yes. and emails. Ahead, Hated by Hillary Clinton. Right, ahead of the 2016 election, which had all kinds of scandals involved from the um, the Catholic spring that Hillary Clinton wanted to start <laughs> or the weird spirit dinners with the Podestas and the Clintons and all of their scheming about getting Trump. Um, is there something yeah. to trying to get him to kind of just quietly go away mm. ahead of 2020 or 2024? Well, uh, that, that would be like the conspiracy mm. theory uh, behind it, I guess. Well, I... I don't. I didn't see why they even really wanted to continue this prosecution because it did. You know, it does annoy some of the progressive base uh, of the Democratic Party on the Democratic side. Why does Biden want to continue this? Progressives are annoyed about so much with Biden. This is just one more thing. He's already. You're trying to imprison him, but he like he has been in prison for a lot. He is. Mm -hmm. He has paid a substantial cost for his actions that he like he can't get back those years of his life. Yeah, and this is just kind of a headache. His health is yeah. deteriorating. He's an Australian citizen, and the Australian government and the Australian people. They're you know this is a key ally of the United States. Are absolutely against the prosecution. They want him returned home. So it just seemed like. You, you would make a bunch of people slightly happier if you just stopped doing this without a huge cost to you in terms of your, like, maybe the national security base, the, you know, the big, th those people. I mean, there might be institutional reasons well, why those people want the prosecution to go on, but in terms of the politics of the voters, I just didn't see the argument. Yeah, and that's what is kind of sticking with me is the sort of uh, national security state and the fact that Biden has really pretty consistently throughout his career with the exception of the sort of botched Afghanistan withdrawal, been in bed with those individuals and yeah. has very much been a supporter of what we might refer to as the military industrial complex. And of course, had the backing of these individuals when they wrote that letter or signed that letter referring to his son's laptop as Russian disinformation, they very much been on the side of both the Republican and Democratic establishments for a long time. So maybe, maybe uh, Biden was worried for quite some mm. time about losing the support of of the never Trumpers and the neoconservatives who have really defected to becoming actually a pretty important They're part Democrats of his base, now. right? I mean, if you look at the, the Northern Virginia military contractors and government employees, like they're all solidly the Democratic base now. Yeah. And those are the type of people who actually support going after Assange. Yeah, they are going to be upset about this. Ha ha. <laughs> Thanks for watching Free Media. Like, share, and subscribe. And you can catch more from us next week.